players have been reduced after they were caught on video allegedly shoplifting in China. The players, UCLA head coach Steve Alford and UCLA's athletic director will hold a news conference today to discuss the situation. Shannon, how should the players be punished? A minimum of five games. They need to be suspended, Skip. They embarrass their families. They embarrass this university. Um, as I said before, Americans are not looked fondly upon because they feel like they're entitled to certain things. Mm -hmm. This the, the Chinese community feels that they came over and got violated by three young men that feel that they have the right because they were American. Yep. They're traveling with this team mm -hmm. that we can just come into your country, come in, in your store, take something that does not belong to us, and everything's going to be okay. It says the charges were reduced. It didn't say the charges were dropped. So they did something. They need to be held accountable. Now, I'm not saying this should be a death sentence. They sh I don't believe they should be suspended for the entirety of the season. But I, need, I think there needs to be some sort of punishment to let them know their actions have ramifications. And when you have these kind of actions, you need to pay some sort of price. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean literally and figuratively, Skip. Um, this was not a good look, Skip. This is not a good look. Um, forget what you think of. If, if you don't care anything about the university, I, I get all that. And like I tell, I tell my kids, mm -hmm. I say, I, yeah, I, I've done a lot for you. But the one thing that you're never going to be able to get rid of is that last name. Honor it. Cherish it. Mm -hmm. Do not embarrass it. <laughs> Skip, come on, man. I mean, you go to, you go to China. It, that's what's on your mind. You go and I mean, very few teams get an opportunity to travel outside the country. They're traveling outside the country. And what's on your mind is to go into a high-end retail store and pick up some glasses or steal something that doesn't belong to you? Bro, you, your family, your dad's over there. You mean to tell me he can't give you three or $400? Buy all y'all some glasses. You're going to go take something. Five games minimum, Skip. If they win as high as eight to ten, mm -hmm. I wouldn't even be disappointed. But there needs to be some sort of punishment to show that their action has consequences. And if you're willing to do those actions, you should be willing to suffer those consequences. And by the way, ESPN reports there is videotape of these three in three different high-end stores stealing, shoplifting. And I, I don't know, I haven't three seen skill. it. That's what, that's what they reported, but I don't know. That's their report. I, I don't know what the truth is. I don't know exactly what did happen, but I'm so with you. The first day it broke, we talked about LiAngelo. You want to talk about a last name? He's got, yeah. he's got a last name. Uh, famous or infamous, however you want to look at it, but it's out there, and so you're going to bring a lot of attention, if not shame, to your father and your big brother, who's now yes. Los Angeles Laker, and I don't know exactly which of the three. I don't know. I don't know enough about it, except they brought shame upon their college basketball team in their university, UCLA. Yes. And the U UCLA student newspaper is now calling for them to be expelled from school. No surprise. And a lot of people in the media are calling for one-year suspensions. Maybe I'm going a little soft, but I'm more in line with you. I'm a little stronger than you. What struck me last night was they've been through a lot. They've taken a lot of shame publicly. They've been ridiculed. So I was thinking if they were forced to sit out the rest of 2017, they, you can come back when the calendar flips to 2018. So after, so what, Christmas break? Yeah, where you would miss the next 15 games. That would include two conference games because you don't want them to come back and say, oh, well, you just brought them back for the conference games. You know, you, you just right. had them miss the non-conference. But if you missed two home conference games, Washington, Washington State, and then you start the new year anew, and you bring them back for the final 16 games, so they would have missed 15 and play 16. So effectively, you would miss half the season. That feels like enough. And again, maybe I'm going a little soft on this. It, it, it's a terrible thing that happened. Yes. And it took the president of the United States to intervene and talk to the president of China. And I think it had some, some yes. effect. Yes. It sounded like it did. Yes. And yet, President Trump was quoted as saying, that it was a, a tough subject to, to broach. It was not a good subject. That was something that should not have happened. What they did was unfortunate. You know you're talking about a very long prison sentence. They do not play games in China. Right. So it took diplomatic intervention at the highest right. level to, to save them. They were under sort of house arrest, right. hotel arrest for a week. And yet, to me, it's enough 
to make them sit for a half a year, and, and they're going to do their little press session or media session today, but they're not going to take questions, which I don't love. Right. They're each just going to make a statement. They're going to apologize. I wish they would take questions. For, for me, Skip, and, and, and my grandmother did not have the – there was no obviously no social media, but my grandmother had a good name. And when I started playing sports and I started doing things, the first thing I thought about was that's going to come back on her. They're going to say, well, Mary did a terrible job of raising those boys. When my brother became a professional, all the things that I maybe thought about did or I did and I could get away with, I stopped doing it because now I'm also a represent he I represent him. So I thought about all those things, Skip, and to this day, I still think, you know, Sterling Sharp, Sheriff Sharp, and man, mm -hmm. all that still go through my mind, Skip. I'm a representative of Savannah State. I know my university is proud of me of what I've been able to come. I don't want shame to come with that. Oh, Savannah State, one of their most prominent alums, he's done this. Denver Bronco, the right. Skip, I represent so many things in a positive way. I would never want to do anything that would bring negative attention to those people. I, I just, I just don't get it. And, if you, and you're telling me that three times, so three different locations. So it wasn't good enough that you got you got away with one of them. You did it two other times. Mm. Come on, man. No, you, you got to go sit this down. You got to go sit this down. I will tell you what. Do like uh, 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 Coach K did, uh, Grayson Allen. Suspend him and definitely let him miss like two or three games. <laughs> well, well th that's true. But one final factor here that we didn't hit head on, that's the LeVar factor. Yeah. His first quote about this the day after it happened was, it ain't that big of a deal. And I assume he's going to try to sort of flex his muscles with Steve Alford in the university community mm -hmm. and say, no, you can't do that to my son because the next son in line is scheduled to come to UCLA, what, two years, two years from now. And he's the better of the, the two younger sons, mm -hmm. obviously, the higher rated. Right. So it's going to be interesting if LeVar tries to flex on this. Flex all he wants to. Yeah. Steve, if I'm Steve, I'm going to say, yes, I can. I'm going to show you. Yeah. You got you got you got you got to set you got to set the guidelines somewhere, Skip. Because if you do nothing, so everybody's like, "Well, hold on, these dudes went to a foreign country and shoplifted, so I can do whatever I want to do." Because what's the difference? Why you showing favor? Look, you treat everybody you treat everybody fair. You don't treat everybody the same. But when, when the act is so egregious, and I know, did I get treated the same way as John Elway? No. Did uh, some of the players get treated the same as myself and Terrell? No. Mm. Mike treated us all fair. The head coach, but he didn't treat us all the same. But if it was an egregious act, now John didn't show up to practice. Well, I, I need to know what kids weren't sick, his wife wasn't sick. I need to know why, because I got me a sick neighbor's build up too. Mm. Well, bottom line, as far as I know about the three kids, they don't have track record. This is one dumb thing they did, yeah. one really bad this thing. This is really, they did. really, 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 yeah. really dumb. There are a lot yeah. of people. There are a lot of pe people up in Folsom. I know. They were first-time yeah. offenders in prison. Well, I mean, it's, we've all done things that we're not proud of yes. and embarrassed of. Going to another country and stealing that. is a whole different level. When you get the president of the United States involved, when uh, he has uh, other more important That's things right. to do for a lot of other people, it's a it's a whole different situation. And they they really escaped prison time. Mm -hmm. That's serious. He, the president just tweeted, uh, "Do you think the three UCLA basketball players will say thank you, President mm -hmm. Trump?" They were headed for 10 years in jail. I don't always agree with him, but I, I do think they probably owe him a thank you. I mean, I'll, Skip, I was not a big traveler, but can you imagine? I'm like, oh, we going out of town. We going out of the country. I remember, hey, going out, we going to Japan my rookie year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my rookie year. I was like, we going to Japan. When I was leaving the country, the number one thing I'm trying to do is not get arrested. Yeah. <laughs> I should have started by uh, went to the uh, Jap in Japan. I should no, the electronic something, district. something like this only happens because you feel entitled, which is yeah. exactly why UCLA has to do something about it. How much longer will Drew Brees be in the?